Hey guys and gals, let's build the Black Panther War on the Water by LEGO Marvel Studios. Wakanda forever, whatever, I don't know. <laughs> Set number 76214. And it has about five to 600 pieces. And uh, just by looking at this, you can obviously tell this is probably going to be a bellyache video. Okay, <laughs> and we do have some stickers. And, yeah, the stickers are not too bad. I have to put them on there, but at least it's not like three entire binders full of sh stickers like we have been putting on these sets. So, let's get building here. Let's take a look at the manual first. And Honestly, this is not a set that I want to build. So, it's broken down into five pieces. I don't know how far we're going to go in the video. I think I may shoot for just doing bags one, two, and three. So here's the other ones right here. And when I was doing the thumbnail, some of the parts got crossed into different bags. So I'm, I know I'm going to be missing some pieces and some containers will have the extra parts in them. So put that there. So I did the part exploration. I wasn't too happy with the parts and uh, the first impressions wasn't too well. What you're seeing here is in between between the the parts unboxing and then the review. It's like a live build review. Okay so um, now we always got to keep an open mind on these things. I usually try to keep everything separate in terms of you know, like build quality and such. Because it may look like a very bad set, but it is a really good build. So, this minifigure's got one sided, he's a one sided head jobby, and he's got the flat top. That's probably one hairstyle I've never done in person, so. Uh, probably never will. Well, wait a minute, we gotta put this in his hand so not so fast Jay you gotta do the accessories yeah I haven't done one of these in a while it's just everything's been going kind of nuts in my life and basically work I've been very busy uh, you know good inspiration for uh, building stuff but like for tutorials but other than that though I just haven't had time to build my own personal stuff like it's just great it's not metallic so he put this in his hands so obviously he's a righty now I'm not really a big fan of this theme but the figures look pretty cool. Okay, we got him done. I think he's the only male in the bunch. So we got to build two of these right here. Yeah, I've been reading a lot of the comments on this channel, and a lot of you guys and gals like these. You say they help you if you get stuck on something. And, you know, I'm by all means, I'm not a professional at this. This is just something I do in my spare time, but... I'm glad I at least helps somebody out with their builds and uh, that kind of thing. You know, this is just something I do as a relaxation type deal. So, oh yeah, I don't know if I mentioned, but Lego did provide me this set. So I will have to sticker it up. In fact, I should make a YouTube channel. I hate stickers on Lego bricks. So I've been working on a bunch of tutorials lately, just, you know, brainstorming, come up with some really good ideas. Sometimes they don't turn out the way you want them, so you got to do it an alternative way and all that stuff. So I've been kind of picking at tutorials. And so far, it's just been slow go. 
And you always get that fan who complains about, well, why does it take you forever to make a mock? Why don't you just build more stuff? You know, some stuff I... You know, sometimes these builds get pretty elaborate. I get pretty picky on how I want to build things. You know, sometimes projects can take a few weeks. They take months. I've had one that took years to finish. Some mocks, uh, like the McDonald's, took well over 30 years to really piece together and complete. So just imagine. You know, a lot of these ideas, they pop in my head. I write them down, and you know, sometimes it's just not possible to to build them. Not with the current part palette we have, so that kind of thing. And I always get that one one person that asks us, you know, why does it take you forever? Well, that's why. <laughs> this is just this is just a hobby, nothing more. But I've been working on a little Minecraft project. Um, I have the 3D resource pack. I kind of worked on that a bit. I'm stuck, I think, on the warp door. Or the crimson door. The one with the little vines that runs on it. And I, got the, I got the bottom portion of one of the doors drafted up. I just got to do the graphics. I'm not a, much of a graphics designer, but... I can I can hold my own up to a point, and it's Minecraft. You know, you can get a little sloppy with it. So I've been kind of playing around with those, and I've been messing around with Minecraft Fabric, which is like a mod type deal, and that is what I've been doing. You know, just kind of like toying around, just tinkering with stuff. And we got one of these goofy stud launching things. Hope I didn't put that in there backwards. I think that's how it's supposed to go with the little thing on this side like a lever. But that's pretty much what it is. You know, I I want to do my own coding projects. No, I gotta do projects that people pay me to do. <laughs> some are some are pretty fun, some of them can be a bit a little bit daunting, you know. And I'm not a video game designer by any means, but Minecraft I can tolerate. I've done some for Sims and stuff like that. The scripting is not too bad when it comes to graphics design. I'm like, okay, how do I make this work? So, you know, this is actually a bedside build. So, I usually do them in the morning before work. Now, this one's before bedtime. I've been out working in my yard, and it's been like 100 or so degrees, but I take a lot of breaks, drink lots of fluids, and just to hurry up and get things done. Because I am putting an outdoor hit by my pool so I can have since I don't go camping really anymore sadly I am just bringing a little bit of the campground here to my house and I'm putting a campfire ring by my pool so I feel like I buy a lake <laughs> but now the only thing I hear outside is air conditions because we all it's been like in the hundreds and Keep myself cool. Okay. Sometimes these builds can be a bit of a drag. So far, you know, what do I have to say about this set? You know, I'm going to be honest with you here. This is, uh, <laughs> this is, uh, I'm going to just bluntly say it. it when I did the parts, it looked boring. Um, the box art just looked kind of bland. And, yeah. This doesn't... So far, you know, is it repetitive? We're doing this, but I'm not going to count it as repetitive. Is it boring? I think it's the colors. It just... It's like a Star Wars set, but Star Wars is a nice theme. You know... 
So we're going to have to do this for all five bags as Bailey ache through it. Now if I'm missing one of these, it's probably in another one of those bags. Start smoothing things around here. Oh, there it is. And I have been destickering Lego parts. Why? Because I need the parts. Actually, I de-sticker them if it's something that's not really interesting like this. You know, I gotta put stickers on these slopes. Number four. Yeah, let's see if we can get these on straight. Probably not. Oh yeah. <laughs> For the person who called me a, an old retard for putting children sets together, yeah, no, you won't be joining us in the comments anymore. Sometimes people take this hobby a little seriously. Well, at least we got a good chunk of the sticker sheet out of the way. And then it's the tile stuff. Yeah, I'm just not really feeling this theme. I, when I was told I was going to get these sets for review, and I thought, well, maybe I'll try to make it interesting as possible. You know, and you can tell that it's... It is what it is, you know. I mean, yes, I'm grateful that I get an opportunity to review this stuff. Sometimes, though, I, you know, I don't butter my, oh, man, this, this is more like newsprint. I guess they're cutting back on quality on the manuals, but most people throw them away. But some, you know, you know, take this a little serious and... That's their prerogative. They can do if they want, but let's see here. So we got to make four of these, but I got to make eight because I got to do all this other stuff. And I'm getting hair in my face. I do need a haircut bad, and I have not. Last time I had a haircut was like March. <laughs> here we are, and. Uh, well, this is the end of August by the time I'm putting this together. When you watch it, it'll be September something. But I was like, okay, I'll make an appointment. Then I had a bunch of other things come up and kept putting it off. And now my short skin fade crop now is into a shag. And I need to get it tidied up a bit. And now my barber wants to cut back hours. <laughs> it's like every it's like something is preventing me and I could go to one of those chain stops, like chain shops where they butcher your hair up and I thought no I'm not that desperate yet. I will learn how to do it myself. I would love to learn how to do self grooming, but well it's not like Lego where you can where you mess up you can practice again if you if you cut your ha own hair you know some people do it and they do a good job but you do it yourself and you mess up you could royally you know mess up your hair and it's not gonna it's it, it, it's the thing that it takes forever for it to grow it grows back out all right so we need sticker number three for two of these. And I don't care if there's stickers on these, you know, I really don't. I don't really care about these type of parts. Although if you're using them for maybe a helicopter, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I am book solid for work the 
oh, all it to like mid January. So I'm going to be very busy. Well, the set just went instantly went down to a, an eight already. Because I am fighting the stickers. <sighs> Not so exciting colors, and I'm fighting with stickers. But yeah, my schedule's been really packed lately. Alright. Some people just, they just love rubbing it in my face. Oh, I got to go on a vacation. Good for you. Or you'll get some friends just say, hey, let's go on a trip. No. Next thing you know, they already they, they went on a, a trip with a different set of friends. You're like, oh, well, next time I won't ask you. <laughs> and that's pretty much how I left it as. Okay, now we got to start putting all these things on here. Wait a minute, hold on. Let's put these on first. Yeah, this is not really uh, fun. I mean, is it keeping my interest? We're going to bag one, and I just want to hurry up and get it done. It's not like uh, the friend sets where, you know, the friend sets or a city set or something like that, where I'm like, what was it, the Atari? I really want to see that done, but for a good reason. This, I just want to see it get done so I don't have to look at it again. <laughs> so, so, for me as an adult, and you know, make sure that's clear for somebody who takes you seriously, you know, these are just, you know, you can't get into this program unless you're an adult anyways. And with copper running around, I don't dare want to get a kid in here to help me build this stuff and get a kid's point of view on the build. You know, oh, for this being a superhero set, where the stars come from? It's probably didn't throw hearts in there too. So it looks like bags two, three, and four are this thing. All right, let's get going here. So we got the figure and these two things. That will set those out of the way. And let's, let me let me just kind of browse ahead here. All right. Matter of fact, the forest fires have not been bad in my area at all. By this time last year, I mean it was like like a nasty amber color outside, and you go outside and you. You go out to your car and you'd see your car is literally just caked with ash and stuff like that. We got to make two of these. And at least it's a little bit of a treat. However, it's been so hot, like we've been in the hundreds, humidity's been about 50 to 100 percent. So, yeah, my air has been running like hardcore. I'm already looking forward to the dead middle of winter. Winters out here only last for about a month. So when it comes winter time, I savor the moment. I go out and walk or jog. All that stuff. I hope this is not going to be a mirror, but there's only parts for enough for one of these. Yep. So, I've been trying to come up with some really decent ideas for some mocks. And I haven't done really large mocks, my nephew was mentioning about it. He goes, you haven't done a big large mock in a long time. And I'm like, that is so true. And I really need to get back into building stuff. Not stuff like this, but, you know. And I only got four videos to finish up for the year, too. And it's mostly just tutorials. I mean, we got, when I'm in a mood to build a tutorial, 
that's when I do them. But it's usually a really good idea I want to share. Okay. And speaking of that, I think there's two or three tutorials on the camera right now I may have to delete. But don't worry, I've already filmed them. So you don't have to worry. <laughs> yet. Right. And I can't tell where this goes. So, let's go skip a step here and see where that goes. Does it go right up against there? Indeed it does. If you're not sure, just always go to the next page. And and see, you know, how far do you go? There was a discussion on the Ambassador Network about how to deal with if you're colorblind trying to put this stuff together. Well, I don't know if I'm even colorblind. Sometimes colors seem a bit washed for me. How do I handle it? I just take it very slow. It always helps to pre-read the manuals anyways. All right. If you're not sure, I mean black and dark gray almost look the same to me, so in the manual they do. In case it's like this right here, you could tell. Oh, I'm supposed to put these here. Yep. Almost caught myself in a boo-boo there. It's like almost like an airplane or something. Or are we making a harpoon gun or something? I'll cut one of these. Yeah, I'm still been working on my own building guides. I think there's two of these that are mirrored. Yep. And we will just mirror them ourselves. <laughs> Let's do that real quick. So I've been writing up building guides. I've been working on the um, simple farmhouse, a a a.k.a. Michael Myers' home. And it's not a hard manual. It's just a big build. So I'm taking my time on it. Uh, you know, Sometimes you'll get a, a disgruntled fan that says, well, why don't you just rush through it? Well... Remember, I want to build this stuff for myself. I don't want to build it and it just sits. A lot of the stuff that I build is for that purpose. It's, it's you know, stuff I build is if I want, I'm trying to preserve my ideas. Sometimes it's hard to line up all those pegs in the holes. It's starting to look more like a maybe a fish or something. Or an aeroplane. So far it's pretty sturdy. Is it keeping my interest? Uh, uh, I would lie to you and tell you this, but honestly not really. I don't know if I'll do this in one sitting or not right now, but... I just want to hurry up, get it done, so I get back. Matter of fact, by the time you watch this, I hadn't even filmed the campground yet, but I'm, I'm ready to. All the accessories are done. I just haven't built the terrain or anything like that. Oh, I put this on backwards. Oh, maybe, maybe. No, I didn't. Never mind. Okay. And these connect to here. I'm assuming it goes like that. We got an extra hinge over there too. Well, no wonder why, because we haven't finished it yet. So bag one is basically the figure. These two things here, I don't know what these are, and this mini figure. Let me see. I had the box around here by me. Oh, there it is. Who, who is who is he? He is King. 
Nam, no, not him. In, in Baku. This is M. Baku. Okay, so, and then the base for this. I guess this is probably like the chassis. Yeah, so I've got to do this one next. And these are the pieces we had left over. Okay, let's move on to bag two. Container to and no, that's not a pick a brick. I think there was candy or something in that. Well, it's long since been gone. And let's see what else we have in here. So so far, the build's been kind of dry. Oh, that's that's actually gold right there, or pearl gold. All right, trying not to yawn in everybody's ear. For this being some futuristic thing, they sure have spears and stuff. I mean, when they have like machine guns or something, I mean, yeah. And he's got a two sided head. find the wig. Lots of these panel pieces. And his wig looks pretty cool. It's like a like a slick back or a flow. But it's got these goofy little pointed ears on it. I wish it had had that because that would have been a nice wig for something else. Sorry, what's your name here? Let's see, Mr. Slick back here. King Namor. You're not much of a king. Alright, now we can get to the big stuff. I'm trying my best to keep the belly aching down. Oh, we didn't put stickers on these? Oh, what a pity. Now, if you've been following my post about the grocery store I want to build. I've been wanting to find a lot of these. Preferably not black, but if I can get them, I'll, I'll do it. I'm going to read ahead here a little bit because it's mirrored in here. Yeah, there's a few pieces I want out of this set, but not like anything I'm just dying to have right away. Mm. I think that's where it goes. Shows it here, so I'm assuming that it does. And two of these, I can always use these, not in that color, preferably clear. Be good for making towers and stuff, but unless you want to build yourself a stone type lighthouse. And then that is it. So so far, you know, am I dying to see this done? Honestly, no. I mean, I'm being honest. I'm not gonna lie. Some, some do that. I, I won't. I won't do that. You guys and gals deserve better than that. So, if you're looking for the set for parts, if you're into this type of theme, I'm sure it's probably a gold mine. But for me personally, yeah. yeah. But sets like this, they got some good inspiration. So, you know, there's some stuff that you could build from this. So you could make even build an alternative model to this as well. This 
still like to see some breeze blocks like that. Okay. Um, let's start building a bit of this. I mean, that don't go there yet. Got to pay attention, Jay. Got to stay awake for this drowsy thing. <laughs> I'm sure if you're really into this Black Panther thing, this is probably a really good goal to mine. But honestly, though, this is not. You know, if you're an average Lego builder and you're not really into this theme, this is probably something I would stay away from. Unless you just want. Unless you just want the mini figures, and probably so. The figures on the box look pretty interesting. So, maybe... Yeah, but doing my houses and trying to make a building guide for those, you know, they were really only meant to just be mocks, never a house. You know, like building guide type form. And to convert a mock into a building buildable model is a, is a bit of a chore. I think the fence was one of those ones. Oh, no, it isn't. There it is. Here. There. And by the time my, this is released, I can talk about it. I got another one of these I have to do. <laughs> Usually I try to mix them up, but when they send me this, um, several sets of the same theme, then it gets to be a little on the dry side. But if you're into this theme, yeah, I do recommend it. It's just from the figures, but if you're just like me, you're an average Lego builder, and you build like city stuff, this is probably something that would not keep Okay. I'm not really a chatty Kathy today. Just a bit on the tired side. I may split this up into two videos. I'll take a look and see how much uh, has been filmed. And if so, then I may just split it down. I'm assuming that they go on this side here too. I'm not a fan of these. There is a place for these, but sometimes it's like, you know, bricks are better than these. It does speed the build up a bit, but... Okay. And let's skim ahead here. I'm just making sure because I think I'm going to have to build a mirror or something. That's what I'm going to have to do. So, um, the reason why I do mirrors for those who are just joining, who've never seen how I do these before, it speeds the build process up. 
instead of just building one that's okay I gotta build the same thing again but in reverse so like this one here on the left is the the build that I'm copying the one on the right is a, a reflection of that so what I'm doing is essentially building two sets of the manual at one time now I haven't read I haven't read ahead in the book so I you know just kind of glance through it so this is something that if you're not really a fan of don't do this <laughs> yeah if you're not if you're not sure you think you're gonna make a boo-boo just take your time go through it very slow give you more of a interesting angle than what I'm doing here yeah there was so many things I wanted to build over the summer and never got to them but there's still a lot of things that I still can do for 2023 if YouTube's is still around by then. That was the question. Is what if YouTube disappeared? What would you do? I said I'd still be filming these. There's plenty of other places to host videos, but I'd be switching to mostly building guide formats at that time. I mean, I'm already in that transition as it is. You know, I'm already going into building stuff strictly from a building guide. You know, like. video tutorials are an essential part but sometimes it's better off just to build from the guide because you don't have to watch the whole video you can just build any pace you want you got a parts list you got everything that you need you know which method is better it depends on the individual who's making the tutorials for me video tutorials work some guys on YouTube, they do the video tutorials because it gets in the views and the earnings, right? I do them to preserve ideas. Because I may have a good idea, I want to film it, and I may not get to it for a while. Versus the manual, yeah, I could do the manual, but I don't get the feel of putting it together. Is it going to make sense for the builder? Is it going to be one of those builds that's sloppily put together? That kind of thing. And we are done. So I have a pair of these. Well, a mirrored pair. Now, this is the one that goes here. Okay. Now, this one goes here. Just to check my work, I'm going to breeze through the manual real quick and make sure it matches. And indeed it does. So, we didn't have to do that all over again. I mean, the set does have some good inspiration. You could make a boat just by using this method here. Basically, if you want to make this a boat, you could keep this part here. This straight part, you can expand out and put this at the end an ocean liner or something like that and that's one way you could do it you know lots of inspiration on these type of sets so not to say the set is sour or anything like that it's just got some it's got good building inspiration but just the theme seems a bit dry I believe the last hinge goes on the front here right there and yes it does and it's just left open there too. <laughs> I don't know what goes in there. These figures are already getting in my way. All right, and that's the only thing left for bag two. All right, let's move on to bag three. And so far, I have survived 
the first two bags. So I may just do this all in one sitting and just get it done. <laughs> okay, so I gotta do another minifigure now. And I need to see who he is. That is Black Panther. Okay. Well, I found his torso. And I found a head. Not sure if it goes into here or not. Oh, never mind. The head swaps around. Well, if I can show you. That's what it was. It's like we have an extra head, but we're going to leave it as Black Panther, so I'm going to put that over here. Unless we can't find that head. Like it's just a one sided head. But he's got printing on both sides, just the face on one side. And there is one more piece that we got to find here. It's one of these. They give you two of these. I don't know if there is something significant. It looks like something you'd see for Batman and Robin, but there they are. And they just fit on the top like that. I guess make the head look a bit more round. Matter of fact, they give ourselves a pompadour like that to make a good skin fade pompadour look. So we got the figure yet. That does he hold anything? No, he just stands there. Alright, well, that's okay. And then, there's a wig that goes with the other one, this tousled look. So it goes with the head. Now, when I do the review, I'll probably just leave it like that. I'm not going to mention any of that, you know, so you can alternate them, but... I may mention it, I don't know. Um, the point is you want to get the reviews done as quickly as possible. You know, you don't want to spend all day doing these. I know some say I should, but I don't want to spend like, some will really go into hours in depth on these. You know, if, if the review takes longer than the build time, then there's a problem. <laughs> But, you know, technically this is a review, so I'm look. this is something I'm looking at from a, a first time, let's say I'm a first time buyer, you know, is this keeping my interest so far, you know, is this something that I would buy as a gift, not only for myself, but maybe for a builder, you know, that's what I look at these as, you know, if you get a theme that you're really familiar with, you're going to say all positive things about it, for me, I look at it and see what well, you know is it keeping my interest and stuff like that is it something fun you know, you know like I said earlier this is not really particularly a very fun build okay we got to build two engines I'm glad now I read ahead so it looks like we're doing a mirror thing again I think they're gonna get attached here right, this is kind of like a new piece here I wish it was a deeper one. It'd make a great barrel. So we're going to start piecing this together. The one closest to me is the one that I'm going to be using. And then the computer has to turn off. Let's see here. And I think that's 12 studs long. Yeah. That was a 6 by 10, so. Yeah, this is, uh, sorry for this being not so much of an exciting build this time. Sometimes it, they're just... You get what they you you get what they send you, and then you just go from there. I wish it was something like the castle, or 
the Hogwarts train. Oh, wait a minute, I put this on too soon. Oh, I gotta peel that off. Oh, and by the way, this set was so kind, it didn't even come with a brick separator. Well, you know what? I may just drop this one down to a 6 out of 10 because it didn't come with a brick separator. I know people usually have millions of those, but if you're not paying attention, you could literally screw up. Hmm. I'm afraid I'm going to break that. So far, these are just exact copies. They haven't been mirrored or anything yet. These would make great barrel pieces. I mean, there's a tile that fits on those. Um, use these for making trees, but that is uh, pearl silver. Something you can use for maybe a pirate ship or something. Yeah, I may just... <laughs> I may get this all done in one sitting here. Well, we gotta layer more of this stuff together. I wish these were metallic. Make great parts for trains. Yeah, that Atari though, that was fun to put together. The uh, the um, Pyramid of Giza was a fun one to put together too. I think of anything else. Minecraft sets. Uh, they're starting to get redundant, so I'm kind of chilling out on those. I got six more of them to do. <laughs> I've been kind of putting them off, but I, I, I swore by the end of this year I want to get done with all the reviews, except for the stuff that LEGO sends me, so I can just get the get those out of the way, you know, because it, you start bottlenecking up with with sets. You're, you know, it's going to get pretty boring quick. You know, I don't mind putting together a really good set. Yeah, I see where this is a little different here. All right, it's only different at the very end. So if you're building these pairs, these are identical up to a point. So you're going to do this here, and this is identical here. So, I mean, it just depends. You get part of a notebook, too. I hope that's not going to get defaced. I bet you it will. I bet it's that sticker there that's going to go on there. We don't know yet. But we know it's coming. We know. We know it's going to be a sticker. I can feel it. Oh, yeah, I'm still getting some of those comments on that one Lego set that I reviewed the um, that one set that I did the rainbow one the everyone is awesome and I'm just like I have never blocked so many people off of one tutorial or review before in my life I'm like taking that very seriously and that's not a bad idea that's pretty seamless there they really fill that in nice and we'll do this one. This is this is the same up to this point, except these face the other way. I try to avoid that in my manuals as much as I can. So there you go. Okay. But yeah, I, I was like, guys, I bought it for parts. Don't construe it as a review, but people do. And I'm like, don't. No, no need for that. And that's the only 2 by 10 brick you see in this set. It's black, too. Very rare color for me. Alright. I 
and I literally got hair just falling in my face. I mean, it's long now. It's like six inches. And it's just kind of getting in my eyebrows. My eyes is poking. Hoping I can get in next week to get it all cut off and shaved and cleaned up. I don't have to deal with it. <laughs> It'll make swimming a lot easier too. Right, was that one of those plates that got that fell into the other bin? I bet it is. Oh no, it isn't. There it is. So far, we gotten lucky. My luck may run out. We don't know yet. Okay. Okay, I was looking at something wrong here. I was like, why is this sticking out here? This right here, no, it's just a one by two plate. I was like, okay, am I doing something wrong? Should I have more sleep than this? <laughs> do I need to drink some coffee? Probably do, but no. Now, if you don't know, if you have a part, oh, we start separating things. Lego plastic bricks. Yeah, that's the name of the game. And oh, and if you need some vintage mailboxes for your retro kitchen that are black, for maybe an 80 style kitchen or a 90 style kitchen, there you go. Black too. So, I'm not sure what I'd use those for, but obviously for a kitchen. Appliances back when I was a kid were, were you had black, black, white appliances when I was a kid were very expensive. You know, just like today, stainless steel is becoming the norm. You can get uh, avocado green, harvest gold, and there was like some kind of rust red. And those were really common, so they would sell those and they would be cheaper. Black was a bit more expensive and white was real expensive because of colors that people didn't want. Like you wanted all white appliances in your kitchen, it was a fortune. Now today, it's white's considered the cheapest. You don't see, I mean, how many people go out and say, I want to get one of those m modern double door fridge with the drawer at the bottom. I want that in harvest gold or uh, avocado green. I bet that would look pretty. That would pretty look pretty cool. You know. But maybe that's a good thing, right? This goes back here. Yeah, I wish they would have sent me like a pirate ship or something. <laughs> yeah. At least this one floats in the water, but not really. But if it floated in the water, it'd be cool. But yeah, I want something with a little bit more color. This is, just seems kind of dreary. It just seems gloomy to me. You don't really see slopes and sets that much anymore, so there we are. I think this just sits up here. Yes, it does. I need some more of these for mocks and stuff. Wish they made a 2x4 version of this, would be cool. <laughs> Sometimes I wish there was like some certain pieces that I need. Oh, um, I got lucky. Nobody complained about my BrickLink order. So maybe I'll have to do more of those. Uh, you know, 
especially with the way pick a brick is right now it's kind of lacking so it's it's the only thing we have and some people complain that they can't get figures in the store like they'll there's some already abusing it already like they have this new build a figure and some people are abusing it bulking up on mini figures and selling them and I'm like why I need bricks more than the figures nice platform there so far it seems pretty sturdy it's kind of a bit on the flaky side but we're not done building it yet all right so probably have to change the angle up here a bit when we get done with this so we're using these I don't think it really matters yeah it does matter usually see those for cars but now um, I'm gonna keep this notch here going straight up actually let's see how they did it here it looks like that's what they did or it's like this so we'll do the notch horizontal with the horizon so we'll stick that right in there not a bad idea. You could use this for maybe a modern type boat or something. There we go. So it looks like that. Sorry for the lighting. I got to invest into another light someday. But this channel here is just kind of raw and cut reviews. So what you're seeing is how I see it pretty much. Alright, looks like we got ourselves a hole and here's all flat tiled in there and stuff. So it's pretty smooth. I don't want to see how they wrapped around this edge here, but I think it's just the same thing with the hinges and stuff. But still, it's kind of a dreary bill. Imagine if this was like blue with maybe some of that coral red on here. It looked really good. and Something with a bit more color. And we got to put stickers on these. So, sticker number one. I wonder how long it's going to take me to put these on. Yep. I think the set retailed for. Probably about seventy to eighty dollars. There we go. Not quite sure. And this one here requires number two. And if I put them upside down, I put them upside down, but I didn't. Yes, uh, even with all the other set reviews I've been getting, I t I've been I've been taking off the stickers. <laughs> Not a whole lot left. I bet that notebook's gonna get tagged. Ah, yes, it is. I see it. There it is. I knew it. You're using it as a screen, though. That's not a bad idea for a screen using this. Never thought about that. You know, matter of fact. Um, Maybe a hologram type thing, but uh, if, you know, if maybe something for like a supermarket. All right, let's put that on there. What are they doing? Playing Ingress or something? It's like a mobile phone game, GPS based, where you go out and you go visit sites and all that stuff. 
and put that there. Okay. And we are just about done with bag three. That's, there is some good inspiration out of this, don't get me wrong. So it's not like it's a total ripoff. Alright, then we gotta put some of these on the top here. Um, let's start with the slope. And it's right here. Well, it was there. The only place it had to fall in, you couldn't really get it out. Right there. And then this jumper plate here. Same thing on this back side. And I'm just starting with the slopes first because it makes more sense. And then we can put this here. Now, this is up to bag three right now. So far, is it keeping my interest? Uh, not really. Only got one sticker left to put on. Stickers are not bad. I'm not going to lie. You know, this is not a really fun build, but at least the stickers are not just horrific. Uh, how is the build quality so far? You know, it's not done yet, but this a uh, uh, little bit wiggly here, but then it's pretty strong. Okay, so now we got the deck done. Let's move on to bin number four. Okay. So, we got one sticker left, and I'm just going to go ahead and just get it done here. We're going to just do this all in one sitting. You know, sometimes this does take a little bit out of me, but don't roll off. You know, don't want to lose your head over this. So this is obviously a gal here. Oh, she doesn't have a wig. Honestly, that's the new style now for a lot of gals. Even the gal that I've been seeing, her hair is pretty much buzzed off. She gets tired of taking care of it. I'm like, I don't blame you. I used to have long shoulder length hair and I got tired of it. So, it had to go. Okay, so now we're working back on the rear of this again. Back what I'm going to do is stand by. Let me change the angle here. Okay, it looks a little better. And now let's push all these off to the side here. You'll just be seeing this now here. <laughs> I need to get some more of these in black. New dark red is starting to get pretty brittle for roof slopes. Um, I bought a bunch of these and I gotta buy them in black because I gotta I want to build this house. There's a house that I want to build. And in order to do that, I need the, the new dark red. Now the roof of the house is not really picky. I don't need to really worry about it. The correct color is dark tan, but I they don't make them in all the parts. So I have to buy the black parts which is pretty close to what I need. I always tell you guys if you don't have your the parts you need you can always use any color you wish. You know you can't get really picky on stuff like this anyways. I may have to back this away a bit more here. So now we're going to work on top of the deck. Maybe I should have kept the camera up there, but no, oh, maybe I could. Sorry about the sloppy angle again. Okay. I mean, we got to secure those slopes somehow. Yeah, if this was brightly colored, this wouldn't be too bad, but uh, I'm losing interest in this really fast. I 
I mean, the instructions are easy to follow. And that's good. It's just a bit of a a dreary, dingy build that when pieces fall in the hole, it's almost impossible to get them out. And it's kind of clunky too. This is a very clunky build. You know, I, I'm trying to film it, and it's getting to be more of a hassle. That's it, just a hinge, nothing more. Um, a couple of 1x12s. This book just wants to fall. I don't have anywhere to put it right now. Could just swing this over here and then do that. Much better. Got the hinge, that in there. Now we got to uh, take a couple of these and just attach one by one plates with holders on them. You got to make two of those. How fun and exciting that is. And then we stick them back here. This must be to hold the weapons or something. I don't know. I got another one of these I have to do. It's not as big as this one, but it's still going to be belly aching. <laughs> so far I haven't ran across any mixed parts yet. But we still got this bag and another one to go. Alright. long pieces go in this front thing. These are kind of new. I've seen these only in a handful of sets. So... Well... I doubt Lego's gonna make a roof system out of those. <laughs> Oh, we have got to be careful. They may one day, too. I wish they'd bring out more roof slopes, but they won't. Why? Because they're too busy making sets like this. Somebody asked, well, why don't you just make a Lego idea set and put the parts you want in there? I'm thinking, that's not a bad idea. But Lego would end up re-engineering it. Their designers would reverse engineer what I did. And... You know, imagine them taking one of my house builds and just completely just redoing it. Stripping it down and making it to some strict version of a set. Now, the book here shows, looks like that's black right there, that profile brick, right underneath my thumb. No, that's actually light stone gray there. Now, that's one thing bad about the book sometimes it doesn't really show the parts correctly. What do you do? You just have to kind of read ahead or just interpret. If you find the right pieces just in a different shade then it's probably the right ones. <laughs> just the possibility of elimination there. Just eliminate it a bit. And We'll go through here. Well, at least we're getting somewhere. This almost looks like an aircraft carrier more than anything else. 
Okay. Oh, we're going to have to piece this together. And this is a mirror, too. All right. Oh, we got to put two of these on top of one another. Not a fan of that either, but this is going to get gutted when I'm done. It's going to get... After I review it, it just goes into the bone yard for parts. Some of these pieces make good terrain builders. You could use it for filling in terrain. These go over here. About 70% done with this. And I am counting down the time spent. Now I am missing a couple of those. So I bet you those are in bag five. So I gotta go get it real quick. Okay, yeah, they were in there. At least it's not a goofy micro build. And, and just to be honest, though, this is not a really fun build for me, but it's not repetitive either. So, uh, you know, it, at least it has that going. It's got some pretty creative builds. It's some good snot methods in here. It's just not really my cup of tea. <laughs> So like a quadrillion times, but yeah. Alright, and it's just a bunch of these, ten of these to be exact. So we're going to be putting these here. I think it's five on one side, and then five on the other. Jay, why do you accept these? Well, I don't know what they are when they send them to me. They just... We're going to give you an offer for set number. Okay. I'll do that. And I get it here. I build it. I can't talk about it. I could talk about it now, even though if, when I'm filming this, they, they have an embargo date. So when it's lifted... And that flew off out of the way. When it's lifted, I can talk about it. Like, I could talk about it now... You know, if it technically has not been lifted yet, but the video hadn't been published either. So I could just sit here and just be talking to myself and just doing this. Now, I can't tell you embargo dates because those are just projected dates. They're not like this is going to be released at a certain time and LEGO will change their mind or something like that and they don't want to confuse anybody and I don't blame them. Now, Probably the most exciting part of this set is these yellow transparent bricks. You know, these are pretty cool. You can make some nice lanterns out of these. Transparent parts are always a treat to have. You gotta make two of those. So hopefully we'll see more of these in the future in sets. Lego just needs to bring out a pure transparent set. Just transparent bricks and plates and doors and windows and stuff. I mean, they already have some. But I don't have to really build a whole house. And we have two extras of these. Oh, because they go on the top of here. My bad. And that's it for bag four with one of these remaining. Alright, let's finally move to bag five and... Get that out of the way. Usually they say this they save the best for last. Well, there's nothing better about this. It's the same old stuff, except now we got a red minifigure. What's his name? His name is Texas. Ironheart Mark II. Oh, having a Mark I, huh? Oh, got that backwards. I did that one time and some people were really kind of like teasing me about that. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. I was in a hurry. Look, she's happy. 
You know why she's happy? Because we're almost done with this set. So let's put the helmet on her and be done with it. Is she holding a weapon or anything? No, we got to do more stuff with the back. I thought we were done with the figure. And I see some cool stuff in this bag. Get some of these little frying pans. And they have to be crooked like that too. And, you know, but so far, yeah, the build's kind of dry for me. It's easy to build. It, the instructions are somewhat easy. It's just, uh, well, not really my cup of tea here. It's just not really for me. Oh, we're still not done building the minifigure yet. Wow. Okay. All these big parts that are staring me down, what do I have here? Um, I'm looking for some little stuff. You know what? Well, let's just get the minifigure done so I don't have to see it. Looking for more. Okay, I need that. Is the stud shiny for this one? Yes, it is. And I gotta build two of these. Oh. That was just one. You're going to make me spend 20 minutes trying to find that one part. i got to move all the big stuff out of the way for one piece. It's probably somewhere very easy to find. I see a slope. I bet that's going to get a sticker. Kind of getting frustrated. I think because partially I'm tired and too. Oh, you can't see what I'm doing. I, I mean, do I really care? <laughs> Probably not. I should, but this is just. Yeah. Now someone's going to say, well, this is meant for little kitties. Well. If an adult's getting bored real quick with this, what would a kid want to build this for? I um, mean, unless they're into the movie. Um. Okay, I see. Why couldn't you just send me a really interesting theme, not this? Is that it? Okay, so basically she has a wig. You can take the wig off and put this on. Let's see what it looks like with her. Yeah. So, um, I'll keep the helmet on. Put that over there. I don't like it when they do that because it just says you have to switch back and forth. And... Sometimes it just gets to be a little too much. Okay. So now back to the main ship again. So we obviously got to attach a bunch of stuff on that. So we got all this stuff here. And... Let's start. Let's get tiling. There's something that goes on there. Yep, summertime, and I'm, you know, this is kind of, this is dreary for a summer build. Why couldn't it be like a like a Lego Friends yacht or something like that? Something bright, colorful, cheerful. Something that's like got some bright colors where it'll keep you awake for six million years straight. That kind of bright. This is just black and boring. Like I said, the minifigures are cool though. If you're into this just for the figures, there you go. And I see stud launchers. Something obviously has got to go on the front here. I don't know what goes right here yet. We don't know. Let's 
Heck, I don't even see those in here. Oh, I see one. Oh, right there, these two round pieces. Don't forget those, because you'll probably will, like I did. Or you couldn't find them. Or we'll just come up with an excuse. They fell into the ocean. Never to be seen again. Now I'm looking for this one here. Okay. Now we got to flip it over. And that's what it looks like on the bottom. And the reason why we flip it over, you got to put a bunch of these little glider plates on the bottom. I guess it's to keep it from scratching up Grandma's uh, vintage dining room table when you come over and play with this. Or, or when you get tired of it and you chuck it across the room. <laughs> I saw a video where people destroy these sets, like they'll literally just break them and stuff. I'm like, uh, I mean, you'd make great views, but I don't want to damage my parts, because you could literally break the parts in these. Some people will do it for the views, and for me personally, boy, that's really uh, not really sturdy there. Some people do it for the views, and I'm not going to damage parts, you know. Well, Jay, they're f they were giving you free. Well, no, not really. I have to. I, I can't do my own builds. I got to do this one first before I can do my own personal stuff. So, no, it's not really free. No, no need to wreck Lego. The way everything is today, everything's expensive. You know. Now, they want me to put a sticker on this, but I'm going to go ahead and put it on here first. The reason being is it'd be easier to manhandle the sticker because I could hold on to this big piece versus a little piece. So, I managed to get that on there the first try. Cool. This fits right in here. This is also used to lift that up too. That's where we put. That's where you smuggle stuff. That's a smuggler's hold, huh? All right. Now we got to start putting in the radios. It comes with two radios. Okay. Radio number one. And radio number two. Okay, those are in there. We've still got a good chunk of parts left, so we're not done yet. We're getting there. We're about 80% done, 80, 85%. And it looks like we are building. No, I'm glad now I read ahead. That's a single piece. Alrighty. I remember when I was doing the friend sets, those were pretty interesting. <laughs> you know. And then you get to this, and it's like I missed the friend sets already. So what do you do? You know, just pretend let's pretend like this is a friend set. You know, you got the nice bright purples and pinks. It looks somewhat interesting. What am I kidding? I'm trying to make a friend set interesting. Why do those? Those are fun. So yeah, a lot of these pieces I'll probably never really use for my own personal stuff. You know, they're not going to be um, that kind of thing. Okay. Oh, we're not done yet. I thought, oh, we're done. We got to put the lantern on the front now. And then two plates and a tile. Lego, why don't you bring out tile bricks? Where it's like two and then there's like a two by four tile, like a two by four brick tile or something like that. Make it break the norm. Do it. Don't let those competitors do it. Okay. 
this goes right here. And that will break very easily if you're not careful. Matter of fact, that's as far as it goes in. It won't go in any further. I think that's how it is because the book shows it like this. You can't really tell, but you can see right here. It doesn't really touch. So I'm assuming that this just doesn't is not meant to fit there. But this is very flimsy. So if you get to this point and it feels like something's ready to break, well, you're not alone. You think they would have anchored that down a bit better, but no, they did not. Yeah, looks like we're adding some stuff to the back of this. And if you're like me, though, you're probably working on different sides of this. You know, you're practically rotating this thing several times through the build. Um, that doesn't go there. But this goes here. In fact, that doesn't look like it fits in there. There we go. It's like that didn't line up very well, but it did now. <laughs> I gotta do this side here too. I think that's what we're doing. Well, no, but we're doing it anyways. We're supposed to work on the other side. We'll work on this one first. Alright. They show a bunch of round plates and stuff going here. So I'm just going to do this side first, and then we'll come back and look at the other side. So I'm just mirroring it in my mind. But Jay, you're not following those instructions. Yeah, but no one will have to know, huh? They'll never know. Never, ever, ever know. Dusty. I think bad about black parts. They show a lot of dust. And right here. This is not really a, an easy build to build live on video. Because this thing is just so sloppily put together. I should have grabbed the turntable and just did it like this. Next time I will, I'll just use the turntable to do it. So tell me what you guys and gals think. Is this something you're just dying to have, or is this something you'll probably just, if you see it in the store, you'll walk right past it? I'm kind of want. I'm kind of curious. Me personally, I wouldn't buy this. Yeah, I, I'm. First off, I'm not into the theme. The dark, dreary box did it for me. Going through the parts, you know, wasn't it wasn't a big help either. And now building this, it's not helping at all because I'm literally kind of getting tired of this at this point. Maybe to some kid, like I said, if a kid's really interested in this thing, yeah, maybe, but. For as an adult. And we are still not done yet. Cool. Not. Okay, so that is going to cover that hole up. Now you're going to be careful not to press on this edge here. You'll break this off. See how this is starting to crack? Yeah, I mean, this is uh, not not really okay I need the other one of those I'm doing the wrong side but at this point I don't care just just got to get rid of it this is gonna be one of those sets I matter of fact this is not as bad as that micro build you know I think that's it now we got to do this side here We've already started part of this right here. Well, I already have the build, so I already have the correct version of this. So what I'm going to do is just start putting this together now. We're going to blast. We're almost done, too. So if you're building this with your 
look with your child, you know, and you're thinking, oh, this is not real exciting, then yeah, you're, you're, you are, uh, you're not alone here. Oh, this is backwards. Let me pop all that out and switch that around. Talking about dragging out the build. Let's drag it all the way out. Yeah, I could be working on a new tutorial right now, but let's let's just uh, let's get it done. Just about there, just about there, everyone. So just hang in there. We're just about done. We are just about completely finished with this. Wait a minute. I don't think there's a tile that's supposed to go in there. Well, I'm gonna have to. Uh, Find a brick separator. If you don't, if you don't have a brick separator, you're going to be hosed on this set. Keep that over there because it's not included with the build. All right. Okay. Just about there. Alrighty. And then I'll save the review for tomorrow night. <laughs> tomorrow night or tomorrow morning, or even when I get home from work, I don't know. When I get done with all of my work stuff, I'll do the review on it. Yeah, that's really flimsy. This thing was pretty sturdy up to this point, and this is just kind of dangling right here. This piece that's right in here. Alrighty. Okay, we got done with that. like building one of these Star Wars ships. Except Star Wars is a bit more entertaining than this. Alright. Now, let's start putting in the accessories. So the first thing we got to worry about is safety. And we need to build ourselves a fire extinguisher. And it just sits right here. I mean, in the future you're going to have fires. Is this mirror too? Yeah, it is. So we're going to have to build two fire extinguishers. No, I'm glad I checked. Alright. And the tools that they come, that this set comes with are all pearl silver. So, this is another thing about this set that sets it aside from others is the accessories. First, I've got to find the little ratchet. Real silver looks real, nice and shiny, and at least that's something we can look at there. And we need a hammer. Okay. Next is the oiling can. We got to keep everything lubricated, even on the sea, even in the future. And we are about 98% done. This one has that little bar at the bottom, too. There we go. So we're going to be working back there. Here we did the fire extinguisher. Now we need an adjustable wrench. Yeah, my hands seem a bit torn up. I've been removing ro uh, roofing material off of a, off of a gazebo. It's uh, about to fall over, so it was one of those things that it's been rotted. It's about time it had to be replaced, so that's what I've been doing. So somebody says, well, your hands look dirty. No, they're clean. 
Um, At least this set wasn't repetitive because it had been really boring. Oh, we got to make two somethings. This is the launcher because you can't shove that in somebody's eye. So let's just do this real quick. Okay. Yeah, but I did get a fan ass. You don't seem too excited when you do reviews. Depends on the build. This? Not really. Well, there's a drill there. I wonder if we're going to put that somewhere. Okay. Now, I'm not going to run through the test of testing out the launchers because I don't want to have to pick all those up. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to have to try to hunt those down, so we'll save those for the review. This is more like a review of the build. Some of these kind of like machine guns or something. I've been thinking about making this channel a bit more for adults anyways. You know, like more adult language. We talk about adult stuff, and that's it. And those go on the receivers. So, right here. I can give you a demonstration on one of these. It's easy when you have them in. Basically what you do, if you've never used one of these before, you just have to shove it in like this. Doesn't matter which way. Okay. This lever pops up. And then you push it down and it flies off somewhere. And that can get pretty dangerous. So that's it. And I'm not sure about the rest of these parts, but you do get an open end, closed end wrench, and a drill. Extra frying pan, a bunch of these. Uh, one by one tiles. Let's, let's put all these up first. We're done with the stickers. And you get a ton of these for the stud launchers. So what I'm going to do is put them inside the stud launchers now. Get them prepared. So when I do the video review I can get it done real quick. And I'm not sure which way is the front. I'm assuming that this is the front here. And don't worry, I'll change the angle a bit more. Just seeing where all the launchers are at in here. I don't know. Oh, the launchers are in this. These two things. I'm not sure what these are. I'll have to look, do some research on this. I don't want to spend too much time doing tons of research. I know some people do. But for me personally, I don't want to spend all day, so I'm get hardcore on the reviews. But if I'm a noob buying this for, let's say, my child or something, and I don't know what it is, I just kind of, well, my kid be interested in this. You, know. and you get a bunch of these here, too. I can always use these for water. All right, let's zoom out here and see what we have. Things are going to get a bit bouncy for a while. My apologies, but that is how we roll on this channel. I mean, I don't script this stuff. Okay. Now, because I'm too tired to do the actual review, I'll do it later. So here we have the watercraft the water ship. And, you know, it seems pretty sturdy, but this thing in the front is just kind of lacking. And to keep my interest, if you watched through the whole video, I tip my hat off to you. If you were bored, I don't blame you, because, yes, this was not a really fun build. It was kind of dreary and dark. Um, it just looks kind of... You know, do I dare say it? it looks half-assed. <laughs> 
Um, maybe, I don't know. I've never seen the movie. Um, you do get several figures. I think there's four of them that are included. Well, there's five. I'm not going to run through all of them, but when I do the review, I will. I used to take my time through the minifigures. Now I just stage them up on something here. So, it does have, what you know, for me, I'm not into the theme, but they are nice minifigures. I'm not going to lie there. Uh, get some accessory wigs and some other trinkets and extra heads and stuff and these weird things. I'll find out what these are, but things move on them and they have those stud launchers. But all in all, though, it was an okay set to build. Did it keep my interest? I was losing my interest really quick. I think it's the color scheme in it. Would I recommend this? If you're into the Black Panther theme, yeah. This probably is a gold mine. But if you're an average builder like myself, no. Um, if you need a source for black or dark gray, even this, cool, even this nice yellow bricks. You find this on sale? Yes. Grab it. Snag it. 50% off. You find it at, at a big box store, I'd grab it in a heartbeat. Full price, though, or just part, I would skip it. Plain and simple. Is it playable? Yes, you could play with this. This is a playable model. I don't know what really half this stuff does. I think these are just some kind of like drones or something to fly around. Maybe something that's in the ocean. But it is playable nonetheless. Could this be expanded on? You probably could. Could you drop this in a Lego City? If you want to have it as an exhibit for a theme park, maybe. Maybe convert it into a restaurant, but or even put this in your ocean. But I don't really see any uh, use for it in a city. So, uh, uh, accessory wise, is there any accessories in here to use for other mocks? Yes, the figures and the tools. Other than that, though, there's nothing off this thing that could be used for a city. You can't just drop it in there somewhere. Yeah, so, that's about it. Uh, sorry for the dry build. Hopefully, we'll get some more exciting ones. Maybe I'll need to get more sleep, but yeah, uh, I'm tired. <laughs> But there it is. That is, well, I hope if I find the box, that is the Black Panther War on the Water. And I think we've seen enough wars in this century. So, there it is.